we are going to be working with routes and controllers. And so far, what we know about routing is that it is done in the startup file. And we've taken a look at the uh, map controller route, the default route. And we've talked about how that works. And what we're going to be doing today is we are going to be doing some custom routing. So we are going to be adding additional uh, endpoints and map controller routes to our startup file. Now, in order for routing to work, there are some services that need to be in your app, and they typically are there by default. Up in the configure services, you should have add controllers with views. And then in the configure method, uh, you will have app.use routing. And you'll also have app.use endpoints. And you do need all of those in order for routing to work. Between app use routing and app use endpoints, are other services you want to run after the routing decisions have been made, but before they are executed. So use routing makes the decisions and the endpoints executes them. So anything that's in between uh, kind of falls into that uh, area where you want them to run before they're executed. And I should point out there is another way to code uh, the default route. I will copy that and paste it over here. We aren't using this method, uh, but this would be another way to code it. It's not as flexible, uh, which is why we're not going to be using that, that technique. So the use routing method marks where the routing decisions are made, and the use endpoints method configures the endpoint for each route. Now, when you create custom routes, you can have static and dynamic data within a segment. And basically, anything that's between the slashes is considered to be a segment. Uh, static data would be text that you want displayed in your URL. And then the dynamic data is like the controller and the action method and uh, the values that you have coming in for your parameters. If you wanted both dynamic and static, you could have that. So, if I wanted the text ID uh, in front of uh, my parameter, I could do that. Okay, or I can add to the end of this. And so let's say I wanted the page and a dynamic variable that could change, which would be number. So page is considered static text because it does not change. Anything that you have in the curly braces would be dynamic. Now, what we're going to be doing is setting up some multiple routing patterns. And the way those work is you need to have the more specific patterns at the top and the more generic ones at the bottom. Uh, because you, if you have the generic ones at the top, that's as far as it's going to go because the, the route it's looking for is going to fit the pattern and it's not going to go any further. So you want the specific ones at the top so that if, if the route doesn't meet the pattern, it'll go to the next one in the list. 
And what we're going to do is we are going to work on this app. Uh, you will notice that I do have migrations in here. Uh, so we are going to, first of all, run a build. And because I've done this on this computer already, I am going to have to change my database name or I'm going to have a problem. So you guys should not have to do this. You should not have Music Store DB on your system. Uh, but I'm going to change the name just a little bit because I already have Music Store. So let me run a build again here. And then I am going to go into the Package Manager console. And I'm going to update database, and that should create my database and my tables. All right, so that hopefully worked for all of you. Uh, and we're going to go into the SQL Server Object Explorer. And we're going to take a look and just verify that the database was created. There it is. Or no, it's music. And I can see that I have tables. And it looks like I have my columns. And you can see that I've got a couple foreign keys in here. I'm pointing that out because later on you guys are going to have to add another uh, model and table to your term projects. Okay, so it looks like everything is there. Uh, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and run my app. And you're going to want to take a little time uh, kind of looking around and becoming familiar with uh, the different indices and commands that are in this app. So we have artists not a whole lot to artists <laughs> other than the name. Uh, we have genres, which is also pretty basic. Uh, there is no description uh, because I didn't add one uh, in the uh, initializing values. Uh, but you can see we have quite a few genres. And for albums, uh, we have a pretty full list of information except for the album art. Customers, not much there. And then you'll notice that I have an about and a contact page in addition to the home page. Okay, so it's kind of a basic app. And so what we are going to be doing with this is kind of creating some custom routing. So I'm going to exit out of here. And the first thing we're going to change is the uh, artist controllers index action method. So we are going to go back over to the solution explorer. And we're going to open up the artist controller. And we're going to be modifying the index action method. Now, uh, because we are going to be working with uh, parameters, we are going to change this. So our return value is going to be the I action result. And we're going to pass a parameter called artist sort. 
and we'll set it to zero in case they don't pass anything along. So the way this is going to work is if they pass along the number two, we are going to sort the artists in descending order. And if they pass the number one, we're going to sort in ascending order. And if it's anything else, or if they don't pass anything, we're not sorting. So we need to check the artist sort. And then if it's a two, we are going to return. the descending sort. And we're putting that in a little list. And, whoops, we do not want a sync with this. All right, so we've got return view, this is our context you'll notice in the generated code up at the top. It's got underscore context equals context. Uh, that's kind of the same thing that we had before. It's just that it's cre it created this private read only uh, with an underscore in front. Okay, so that's our first one. And... Might as well modify this last one. And so all I'm doing is get rid of getting rid of a weight and the async part. All right, so now we've checked to see if it's going to be equal to two. Now we need to see if it's equal to one. And if it is, I'm going to copy this return statement and modify it a little bit. Uh, so it's just order by. We want to do it in ascending order instead of descending. And then if it's not a one or a two, if it's anything else or if it's nothing, uh, then we're just going to return the unsorted list. Okay, so that should be okay at this point. Um, now we need to go over to startup. And we're going to add endpoints for that one. And we're going to put this above the default because it is more specific. And I am kind of a lazy typist, so I'm going I'm to copy this part. All right, so for this, I'm not going to have it called default because we already have one called default. So this one is going to be called sort artist. And the controller is the artist controller. Uh, the action method is still the index method, but my parameter is artist sort. And I need to put in my semicolon. Oops, I have that in there. So now I have an extra one. Let us get rid of this. All right, so at this point, I've got my route and I've got my action method modified. I'm going to run a quick build here. All right, so um, I could test it, but I'm going to go ahead and do my other one, uh, which is in my album controller. Uh, this is kind of lengthy because I want to allow them to sort by artist or genre. 
And again, I'm going to be changing the index action method, getting rid of async here. And then uh, for my parameters, it is artist sort, which I'm setting to zero in case they don't pass anything, and genre sort. So this is going to be kind of a lengthy if else. And so I'm going to check artist sort to see if it's a one and the genre sort to see if that's a zero. And then I'm going to return a view. And so what I want to return is the context dot albums dot include uh, we're bringing in the artist information and then we're going to sort that artist information. So after the a dot artist and the parenthesis, we are going to add order by a artist dot name. And then we're going to keep our include for genre because we need that information too. And we're going to put this in a list. And I'm going to get rid of this one. So that's our first one. And oops, it's a dot, forgot the A. All right, I believe we are set. Albums include a, a dot artist, order by, dot artist name. All right, so let's try the else. And I'm going to go ahead and copy all of that. Oh, I see the problem. We need another parenthesis there. All right. So now I'm going to copy all this now that it's right. And for this one, let's see, we're going to check to see if now the artist is a zero and the genre is a one. Uh, so if that is the case, then we still want to include the artist, but the order by needs to be after genre. So I'm going to move it. So we're including the artist, we're including the genre, and then after the genre, We need order by, and now we're going to be ordering by the genre. So we're going to do g dot genre name. Then we need another else if. So Actually, I think I'm going to copy this one. So now we want to see if the artist is a two, because that's going to be descending order. And genre sort's going to be a zero. And if you copied the first one where we're sorting by artists, then all you need to change is it should be order by descending. And then now I'm going to change the else if where we have the genre equal to one. And I'm going to change that to a two. 
And we're already sorting by genre. So all I need to do is change order by to order by descending. Okay, so all of this is if they have indicated values for artists or genre. Now, if they haven't, then we need to return the unsorted list. And so I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna remove the sort. So here's my sort, let me get rid of that. So that was is what they will end up with if they indicate that nothing or they don't want to sort. So I'm going to build quick and make sure I didn't do a typo. And then we're going to go over to the startup and we're going to add a, another route. And I'm going to go ahead and copy an existing route. So I'm going to call this new one sort album. Now this is going to be the most specific because I've got two different parameters. And so my controller here is album. Whoops. Try that again. My controller is album. Uh, my action method is index. And I actually have two different parameters. Artist sort is fine. And I also have genre sort. And just double checking. Uh, now I did add comments in here. Uh, can sort by either artist or genre. Uh, sort equals zero, not sorted. Sort equals one, sort ascending, sort equals two, sort descending. And it's kind of the same rules down here for artists too. So I'm going to go ahead and save everything. I'm going to run the build. And then we're going to test this thing. Now, the first thing we're going to do is make sure we didn't break anything, any of the defaults. So you want to click on artists and albums. And the fact that they display is good. Uh, and then we are going to modify this. So right now I am in album. So I'm going to key in album slash index slash one slash zero. And so that was an artist sort in ascending order. And now I'm gonna change the one to a two. So that's an artist sort in descending order. Then I'm gonna change it to zero. And we'll set genre to one. And that's ascending by genre. And now we're gonna change it to a two. And then if I did zeros or nothing, it goes back to what it was originally uh, displayed at. 
So that one seems to be working okay. So let's go over to artist. And we want artist index slash. And so if we do a one, it should do the artist in ascending order. And if we do a two, it does the artist in descending order. And if we do a zero or nothing, it goes in back to its original order. 